Hi, today we're at Niceville High School, my alma mater. We're about to go inside and meet the principal, Charlie Morello. I'm Jenny Lee with the Premier Property Group. Let's go. Thank you, Charlie, for taking the time to speak with me today. Probably as a real estate professional, the number one question that I get is, how are the schools? Great. So I wanted to just kind of sit down with you and just dive right in there. Let's do it. What's it like to be a student at Niceville High School? Student life at NHS, it is a, it is a special feeling. There is a, there's a spirit that just reverberates through the halls of Niceville High. It's indescribable. Um, I can speak firsthand about that because I am an alumni, graduate class of 1990. Um, and it just it means so much to me to be back at my old school. And I think, I, I think for two reasons. I think uh, anytime you go back to a, to a place that did a lot for you, there's just uh, you know the school spirit and the uh, and the pride is just amplified you know exponentially. So I truly I truly have a passion for being an eagle. And you know I think that kind of that kind of permeates throughout our school. I think kids know that it's uh, you know, you're kind of lucky to be here. Um, there is a waiver process for students who don't live in Niceville to try to get into NHS, and we'll actually have a waiting list over 100 kids this year of uh, students who, who tried to get a waiver, who wanted to be a Niceville Eagle, and it just didn't work out for whatever reason because we're, we're almost at capacity and we can only seat so many students. So I think that alone speaks to just how highly people think of our school. Of course, of course. I agree 100%. I graduated from Niceville myself. Very good. So how many waivers do they typically give out in the um, school year? School laws have kind of changed about the waiver process and the way it used to be was uh, a waiver came across the principal's desk and he viewed that student and checked out their records and if he or she felt worthy they would sign off on allowing them to come. Uh, but now schools have gone to what's called a, there's a, a capacity report and you're only really allowed to take so many students at each site. Um, so students are actually are in the state of Florida are allowed to waver into anywhere they want. You can live in Broward County, and if you want to fly a helicopter up to Okaloosa County to go to school every day, you, you can do that. Wow. And you can't be told no unless the school is at capacity. So Niceville High School last year, this, this law went into effect. We had about 90 kids who we were able to accept on waivers, and we had about 110, 110 applicants, so most of them got in. This year, with the increasing size of our feeder schools at Ruckel and Lewis, um, we can accept 39 waivers, and we okay. have over 180 who have applied. Oh, wow. Right, so it's so going to be... that speaks volumes, too. It does speak volumes, and um, and if you don't live in Okaloosa County, you automatically go to a wait list because in a, in a criteria of kind of who has priority, uh, out-of-county students are the lowest priority who have a chance to get a waiver to come in. Wow. Simply because they don't pay, pay property taxes in our county. Right, right. How many students are currently at NHS? Just shy of 2,000, and uh, the senior class is running about 499. Wow. But now our freshman class is over 600, and coming in from Ruckel is, again, about 650 kids. So it's, I, I could see that waiver number in a couple of years being zero, and our school just being at capacity, and basically if you don't live in Niceville, you don't get to come here. Sure, sure. Now, with our community having such a large military presence, um, what is the culture? Can you speak a little bit about that as far as the students welcoming new students as they oh, flow in and out, definitely. usually on a regular basis? Definitely. Um, you know, with the Air Force Base and other military branches so prevalent in our area, that is such a common theme here to get students during all points of the year, maybe not in the, you know, in the summer to start the school year or at winter break. You know that happens just a lot with uh, with families getting PCS and getting moved around. So that is a is almost an open arm culture. Like I said, because it's not even it's almost the norm here that we get students from all walks of life from all areas of the country throughout the year. So I wouldn't think that any student would feel like they weren't welcomed or that it was just so hard starting at NHS because I didn't start the year there or I wasn't there for my freshman or or, or sophomore year. Um, oh, one of our elective classes is called the leadership class. And uh, they are, do a good job as a student ambassador when we get those new students that first few days to walk their classes with them, show oh, them around, uh, locker hall, cafeteria, this is where you want to go, but this is where, and maybe probably some inside information that I don't even know that right, I share. Right, right. Um, but I, I would say any students new to NHS would say that they, they felt
felt welcomed immediately. That's awesome. That's really, that's really awesome. And that <laughs> speaks to the character of our kids, honestly. You know, we, kids are kids, you know, teenagers, teenagers are going to make bad choices and, uh, you know, we have to deal with that from time to time. But by and large, from someone who's worked at seven different schools, um, we just have very high quality, high character kids here. Now, speaking about that, so there's a lot of awards that um, have been awarded to Okaloosa County and Niceville in general. Can you speak to the Excellence Award? I can. Um, a, a few other ones, kind of small. So we are a five-star school award, which is given to uh, based on volunteer hours, and that's a testament to how our community really gets involved in our school. So schools who log a certain amount of volunteer hours from parents, community, whoever, um, we're a five-star school. We've been a five-star school for about 12 years running. Um, we are a National Blue Ribbon School of Excellence, and that happened late in the 90s, and that's based predominantly on just academic achievement. But the most recent one, which you know I, I was very uh, proud of, is an A-plus School of Excellence. All Florida schools are rated. They're given a grade, and we've been an A for a very long time. But this year there was kind of an amplified award. The A-plus School of Excellence is for schools who have been an A-plus school for three years in a row, but their test scores are in the 80th percentile within the state. And so that's a very high number, but in fact, Niceville High, we were within the 90th percentile of the state. So as far as high school rankings in the state of Florida, you know, we've got to be up there in the top 12 or 15 schools. And as a matter of fact, Ruckel, our biggest feeder school, they also were named an A-plus school of excellence. So to be in the 90th percentile of, of high schools in the state here in little Niceville, Home of the Mullet Festival, you know, look at look at the things we're doing here. So it's great. It's nice and nice, Phil, <laughs> even at the schools, even at For the sure. schools. For sure.